hi in today's tutorial video we shall be looking at some problems on resultants of forces and we have about uh, five problems here number one says two forces whose resultant is eight newton are perpendicular to each other if one of them makes angle 60 degrees with the resultant calculate the magnitude so let's solve this one solution so we have two forces the resultant is 8 newton they are perpendicular to each other so this is uh, this is so let's level this f1 and level this what f2 these forces are what perpendicular so we are told that if one of them makes angle 60 degrees with the resultant so let's uh, construct a triangle again. Of course, this side will be the same as this side. So this this will be what? F1. This is F1. So if one of these forces makes angle um, 60 degrees with the resultant, this is 60 degrees. So it means that this F2, this force here, makes angle 60 degrees with the resultant okay so the question says uh calculate the what the magnitude so it is the magnitude of the force that makes angle 60 degrees with the resultant that will be what calculated so if you if you look at this now if this is 60 degrees this is 90 degrees sum of angle in a triangle is 180 so this will be 30 degrees we are not interested in this we are interested in that force that makes angle 60 degrees. This is the resultant. So, so how do we now find the what? The resultant. And, okay, the resultant is given as 80 Newton. So, we have to find the magnitude of that force which makes 60 degrees with the resultant. So, using this uh, trig relation, so Katoa, so ka, so uh, we'll be able to find this F2, which is that force that makes angle 60 degrees with the resultant. So looking at this, this is angle 90 degrees. Of course, this is the hypotenuse. So this is the what? This is the adjacent. Adjacent of a hypotenuse is cos. So we can say cos 60 degrees equals adjacent upon hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 80. So so F2 now will be 80 cos 60 degrees. And 80 cos 60 degrees is 40 Newton. So the second question says two forces of magnitude 8 Newton and 4 Newton act at right angle to each other. The angle between the resultant and the 8 Newton force is what? So solution, to find this, we have two forces each of magnitude of 8 newton so have let this be one of the force and this the second force so this is 8 newton this is uh, 4 newton and they act at right angle to each other so the angle between the resultant the resultant and the 8 newton force is what of course if we construct another triangle here another triangle here these lines become similar to this so this will be 8 newton so the question is saying the angle okay is saying the angle between the resultant and the 8 newton force is so this is the resultant and this is the 8 newton force so this is the angle we are asked to find so how do we go about this using still the trig relation so katoa so ka so, uh, so we want to find of course this becomes the hypotenuse so this is opposite upon adjacent tan so we say that tan theta is opposite is 4 upon adjacent is 8 and this is uh, uh, 0 0.5 so tan theta is what 0 0.5 to get the angle we have the tan inverse of 0 0.5 and tan inverse of 0 0.5 is approximately 
26.6 watt degrees. So the angle between the resultant and the 8 newton force is what? 26.6 degrees. Of course, we have other videos on uh, vectors, resultant of forces. You can check our playlist for that. If this is your first time of watching our videos, subscribe for more updates like this. We uh, upload videos on mathematics and what sciences. Now, let us look at uh, question number three. Question number three says a force of 25 newton inclined at not 38 degrees east and another force 15 newton inclined at not 22 degrees west acts on an object. Calculate the magnitude of their resultant. So taking the first force solution, taking the first force, so this is this is uh, north. This is south, this is west, and this is what? East. So this force, 25 newton, is inclined in the north, 38 degrees uh, east. Before I go further to solve, the, uh, solve this, this is uh, north east, this is uh, south east, this is uh, south west, and this is what? North uh, west. So this is the cardinal point, north, south, west, east. So this force is inclined in this direction, north, this is north east, north 38 degrees east. So I'll write this, this is north, south, west, east. So it should be this side, so we have something like this. So this is uh, 38 uh, degrees. So this is inclined at uh, not 38 degrees what is this angle here okay so and the force is what 25 newton the magnitude of the force is what 25 uh, newton now the second one is force of 15 newton inclined at not 22 degrees west so this is not and this is west so not 22 degrees west so it should be around this place so this is uh this is 22 what degrees so this is not this is west so this is not west so uh the question is now saying calculate the magnitude of their resultant how do we find the magnitude of the resultant so to do this would uh, make this to form a parallelogram. We we'll make this to form what? A parallelogram. So we we'll have something like this. So uh, this side is the same as this side. Okay. This side is the same as this side. This side is the same as what? This side. So the total of this angle, 22 plus 38. 22 plus uh, 38 degrees gives us what? 60 degrees. Opposite angle of a parallelogram is equal. So this is also what? 60 degrees. So let's label this X. We don't know these sides. Let's label this what? X. So we have that. 2X. That is X plus X plus 60 plus 60 is 120. Okay. That's it should equal 360. The sum of the angles in a parallelogram equals uh, 360 degrees. So that 2x will be 360 minus 120. 360 minus 120 is uh, 240. So that x will be what? 120 degrees. So each of these angles here is what? 120 degrees. This is 120 what? Degrees. Now, how do we find the resultant for this uh, kind of problem? So, we form what? A, a, a parallelogram. And the, the parallelogram law of vectors states that if two vectors are represented both in magnitude and direction by the adjacent size of a parallelogram, that the diagonal drawn from the points of intersection re represents the resultant vector represents what the resultant vector of course this force here is what 15 newton the force here is what 
15 meter so we can now carve out this so we have something like this this is a uh, this is this and this is 120 degrees okay this is uh 38 watts degrees so looking at this this side is 25 and this side is the same as this side this is what 15 so we can use the cosine uh, rule to find this if you are not familiar with cosine rule you can uh, go back to your words maths so the cosine rule we can label this as r so we see that r square equals 15 square plus 25 square minus 2 times 15 times 25 cos uh, 120 what degrees cos 120 degrees so if we now make our subject of the formula we have this is 15 square plus 25 square minus 2 times 15 times 25 cos 120 and we have uh, this is 35 newton so the resultant force the magnitude of the resultant for these two forces acting in different directions is what 35 uh, newton again if this video interests you do well to give it a like subscribe for updates like this we uh, upload videos on mathematics and sciences now let us solve problem number four Question number four says, four coplanar forces of magnitude 10 newton, 17 newton, 6 newton, and 20 newton act at a point O. This is point O. This is point O. As shown below, determine the resultant force. Now, if you have two forces in opposite direction, you subtract. And if they are in the same direction, you add. So, the resultant of this uh, vertical force now will be 10 minus 6. So, it will be in this direction. So, we have 10 minus 6 is uh, 4 newton. So, and the resultant here, so this is opposite direction again, 20 minus 17. It will give you 3. It will be in this direction. This is what? 3 newton. So, this is angle what? Angle... Uh, 90 degrees so solving this we can neglect what the unit so how do we now find the resultant quickly taking the Pythagoras uh, rule this is 90 degrees this side is same as this side this is 4 so we can say that r will be r square equals 4 square plus 3 square so the r will be square root of 4 square plus 3 square and give, this gives us what five newton so the resultant the resultant force for these four coplanar forces will be what uh, five newton so this is five five watts newton all right now let us solve problem number five problem number five says a man travels seven kilometers do not then 10 kilometer is find the resultant displacement solution so this man this man travels seven kilometer do not so drawing our cardinal point this is not it travels uh, seven kilometer not okay so the next one is 10 kilometer east 10 kilometer x. The question says find the resultant uh, displacement. So displacement is a vector. It's just distance in a specified direction. So we'll find the magnitude and we'll give the direction. So this is inclined at angle what? 90 degrees. So how do we find uh, the magnitude of the resultant? So we can draw a line in this way so that we form what another triangle this side is same as what this side so we can use Pythagoras rule to get this so that 
R square equals 10 square plus 7 square. And R now will be square root of 10 square plus what? 7 square. And this gives us uh, approximately 12.21 12 kilometer. So this is the magnitude of the result time. How do we find the direction? So this is the north, this is east. So let us find this angle to see if we can get the, the direction. So from uh, Sokatwa, this is opposite upon adjacent. Tan theta is opposite upon what? Adjacent. So this is 0 0.7. And tan inverse of 0 0.7 gives uh, 34.99 watts degrees. So this is 34.99 degrees. So how do we get this? Let's write this alpha. The sum of angles here is 90 degrees. So alpha will be 90 minus this. 90 minus um, 34.99. And this gives us uh, approximately 55 watt degrees. So the resultant displacement now, of course, we say displacement has magnitude and direction because it's a vector quantity. So the magnitude of the resultant displacement is 12.2 kilometer. Then we have not 55 degrees east. This is not east. So we have not 55 degrees what east. So this is the answer to this uh, question, 5a. Now let us solve 5b. 5b says, if it travels 7 km 30 degrees east of north, so we have 7 km 30 degrees east of north. So this can as well be written as 70 km north 30 degrees what east okay the question says find the resultant displacement so if you travel 7 km 30 degrees east of north then 10 km is find the resultant displacement so we have this is our cardinal point this is north this is what east so this travels uh, north 30 degrees east so north 30 degrees east will be this side. So we have something like this. So this is 30 watts, 30 degrees. And of course, this is north east. And it now went 10 kilometer. 10 kilometer the what east. The magnitude here is what? 7 kilometer. The question says find the resultant displacement. Again, we can make this to form a parallelogram. How can we do that? To do this, let's construct this. We have something like this. Okay. This is a parallelogram in this case. This side is similar to this side. This side is what similar to this side. So this angle here now will be the sum of angle here, right angle triangle is 90 degrees. And here is giving us 30 degrees already. So to get to this, we say 90 minus 30, we take away 30 from 90 and we have 60 degrees. So this opposite angle to be what? 60 degrees. So sum of angle in a parallelogram is 360 degrees. So if we label this X, so we say, x plus x plus 60 plus 60 will be 2x plus 60 plus 60 is what? 120. 120 equals 360 degrees. So that 2x equals 360 minus 120. And this will give us 240. x will now be 240 upon 2. This gives us what? 120 degrees. So here is 120 and here is what? 120. So we'll be having something like this. So this is um, okay. But before we do that, the question says that we should find the resultant displacement. So 
using the parallelogram law, the diagonal drawn from this point of intersection represents the magnitude of the resultant. So this is R. So let us call this psi alpha. So we can uh, draw it, we can uh, bring it out, we have something like this. We have something like this. Okay. So this goes to this. So this side now, we can call it uh, alpha. We can call it what? Alpha. So this is 10, 10 kilometer. Of course, this is, uh, we, we label this 7 what, kilometer. It will be the same as this. So this is what? 7 kilometer. So the angle here, X, we found it to be what? 120 what, degrees. 120 degrees. So how do we find the resultant? Again, following from the parallelogram of vector, this is the resultant. And we now use the cosine rule to find the resultant. R square equals 10 square plus 7 square minus 2 times 10 times 7 cos of the angle. So we have 120 degrees. So R will now be square root of 10 square plus 7 square minus 2 times 10 times 7 cos 120. So this gives us uh, approximately 14.8 watt kilometer. So the magnitude of the resultant is 14.8 uh, kilometer. So how do we get the direction? How do we get the direction? So to get the direction, that is the direction of this resultant. Remember this angle from here to here is 60, here to here is 30, and here, okay, here we don't know it. So let us find alpha. How do we find alpha? We can use sine rule. Again, you can go back to your mathematics and check this out. So we have that this is this is seven kilometer the angle is alpha so we can have seven sine alpha equals we have gotten the resultant to be 14.8 kilometers so we have 14.8 uh, the angle is 120 sine 120 if you make alpha a subject of the formula you have that this will be sine inverse of this. If you will resolve this in your calculator, you have this as 0 0.41. So sine inverse of 0 0.41 gives you approximately 24.2 degrees. So how do we find this small angle here? It will be, let's label that angle uh, P. So it will be, the angle P will be 60 minus 24.2 uh, and have something like we have uh, 35.8 so we have 35.8 so how do we now find the the uh, direction so to find the direction that is the direction of the resultant we have found the magnitude so this is 30 degrees we add it to this so this small angle which you have found, so it will be 30 plus 35.8. And this gives uh, 65.8. So the, the displacement now will be, so we quote the magnitude of the resultant, 14.8 kilometer. So we have this is not, not 65.8 degrees east. So this is the resultant watt displacement. So you can follow from this and solve number 5C and put the answer in the comment section. So if you have enjoyed this, subscribe for more updates. Share this with uh, your friends. This is Nesalifa Academy and we are signing out.